What's going on folks? I'm Evan and this is the 2024 Jayco J Flight 212 QBW, the perfect backcountry couples model. Let's go check it out. All right, folks, here we are, the 2024 Jayco J Flight 212 QBW. The W stands for West because this is built in Idaho. So it has a few differences between the West and the regular models. I will put the order sheet in the description for you guys out east so you can see what it's like uh, with the the indiana built models this one has the fiberglass sidewall option we also have the baja package so you'll notice it's kind of tall we've got bigger wheels and tires and flipped axles so you gain about six inches of ground clearance with the baja package also 60 pounds of propane up front we got a power front jack integrated a-frame for those of you that don't know, Jayco's frames are all custom. We got the new Lippert Rock Solid Stabilizer Jacks. So those can go down a lot further than the scissor jacks, which is important when you have an additional six inches of ground clearance, and they stay way more stable. I love these things. We've also got a fully enclosed underbelly. Now, as we walk around the front, we got a nice pass through here, good amount of storage. Your inverter pre-wiring is on the other side, and that, gray, that uh, cardboard box right there, that is the griddle that comes with the unit as an option. Good size pass through, plenty of room in there. We've got the solid steps. With the regular model, you get a two step. With the Baja package, you get the three step. And these fold up, go in the door. We've got exterior speakers, a big awning with an LED strip, nice big tinted windows. And let me show you a close up of these tires. So they're knobbier than the standard tires are without the Baja package. You also get the black wheels. And of course, every J flight has galvanized steel wheel wells. TV hookups here. And as I walk around back, you'll see I've got the bumper mount for the griddle. And there's a propane quick connect just down here. So you can hook up your griddle, or if you don't want to use that, you can hook up your barbecue, you know, your Blackstone, your Traeger, whatever you got. We got pre-wiring for a backup camera up top. And let me show you what the roof looks like because there is 200 watts of solar up there. That's an option. Fully walkable Magnum truss roof with tongue and groove plywood decking. Now around back, we've got an on-demand water heater here. Got your furnace, potable water fill, all your services right on this side. Outdoor shower and a black tank flush standard from the factory. Now, if you're wondering why you would want the flipped axles, the bigger tires, because that you know makes your sail taller when you're towing it. Well, it's because a lot of people out west do a lot of you know crown land camping, backcountry camping, a lot of forestry roads, places that you need the additional clearance, which is why I forgot to show you on the 212, your sewer dump is in front of the axles and it does not hang down. It is tucked way up there. So you're never gonna catch that on anything. That's enough of the outside. Let's get inside. Walking in, we got your bedroom on the right. Walk around, full queen bed. Got a little bit of storage under there. And it is separate from the front pass-through. Plywood base for your bed. And these hydraulic arms are super strong. So whoo, gotta really push that down. We got a nice shelf up top, but it's high enough that when you're sitting in the bed, you're not gonna bang your head when you sit up. Shelves on this side. And a little side table down here with some power. Then on this side, we've got another side table with the power and we've got a rod for hanging instead of shelves. Now, if you don't want shelves at all, you can take them out. You can put another rod in that side or you can put shelves on both sides if you want. TV hookups up there and a backer for a TV mount in the wall. Plenty of windows and smaller valences now. So the valences used to be like an inch taller. They're smaller now, so you can see better and you get more light. Standard pleated pull down shades. Then I turn around, I shut the bathroom door. There's a look at your kitchen. So no slide in here. It's not very tight though. This is eight feet wide, right? So you get plenty of space. Nice drawers in the kitchen. There's lots of storage in here. 
and they're very big drawers. Deep, 75 pound ball bearing drawer glides. This one's not as deep because your sink goes in there. Big cabinet down here. Got a double sink, not a single basin sink. So this means you can actually like wash and rinse dishes. Uh, and there's this nice cutout here. So if you do have a bigger pot or pan, that leaves you some room to kind of work with it without dumping water all over your counter. Molded countertops, USB and power here. Good size window on this side so you can see your campsite while you're standing at the sink. Sprayer faucet for the sink. Good size cabinet up top. And of course we got hardwood shaker style cabinet doors. Hood vent that actually vents outside. Three burner Furion stove here. With the oven so you can bake yourself some cookies. And a nice little backsplash back there. We also do have a microwave. Yep, that's a microwave. We have your 12 volt fridge. Everchill fridge. You can open it from both sides. So you're cooking, you can open it that way. Or if you're in the living room, you can open it from this way. You've got a big pantry. Tons of room for food or linen if that's what you're doing in there. Because, I mean, when you're in something that's 21 feet in the box, 20, 25 and a half, 26 overall, uh, your space is pretty limited, especially without a slide. Now, we've got your sofa here. This is a jackknife sofa, so it does go down into a bed. You've got cup holders, so you can snuggle or you have your separation. Huge windows all throughout here. Like, most of the wall is window. It's kind of sweet. This window used to be even smaller. They made it really big. We got this entertainment center cabinetry here. So this one's optioned with the TV. It doesn't come with it standard, but this one has it. We got Bluetooth AM FM radio. Plenty of storage though. Very nice, real glass cabinetry. And there are some cabinets above the couch as well that I missed. And all your cabinets are screwed and glued, not stapled. Nice black hardware. And this is about how much room there is in this walkway. Like I can stand with my legs kind of spread apart. I got room to walk. If someone's sitting here at the sofa, it might be a little bit of a squeeze past them to get into the dinette, but you can do it. And your dinette goes down into a bed. You also have some storage underneath the dinette that goes all the way to the ends. Nice and clean under there, no wheel wells or anything because those are further up. That's a really nice thing about this floor plan is your axles are in a really good spot. Now there's one more quick overview of your living room, your dinette. Let me show you what the jackknife looks like in bed mode. So there's a little storage under there. You got access to your water pump, your water lines, all of that right there. Your water heater, your furnace, all in one place. And there is your jackknife in bed mode. These cushions come off, but they're surprisingly comfortable as a pillow. Now let's head into the bathroom. I'll show you what's going on in there. Good size bathroom. You got a sink that's actually deep enough to wash your hands in. Plenty of counter space, GFCI outlet, we got the controller for your water heater right there. Little towel hook. Hey, it's me. Evan not included. Sorry, folks. Medicine cabinet. That's quite deep. Lots of space. For your shower stuff. And this one has a tub. So it's a reinforced floor in there. So you can get in there and you're not going to feel like you're going to fall through the tub. Some little niches for shower stuff. Pretty nice shower head and a skylight, so for you taller folk, there's plenty of room in there. And then if you have, you know, a dog or small kids, you need to give them a bath, they don't want to do the shower thing, whatever, you can do that. A Little bit of storage underneath your sink here, not a ton, nothing big can go in there, and then service access. 
Got your toilet, foot flush toilet, nothing fancy. And there is a fart fan in there. So you could upgrade that to a Max Air fan if you wanted to. Now that is about it. We do have AC, of course, and it's vented, louvered, directional vents. So you can point them where you want, close them if you want to. And we have a speaker at the back there and a speaker up here in the roof as well. Now all these lights, you turn them on with the flip of a switch, but they are individually addressable as well if you want to dim the mood a little bit. Now, I think this is a fantastic floor plan for, you know, grandparents. Maybe you want the kids to have the option to come, the grandkids to be able to come with you, but you don't want bunks and you like to go in, and you like to go into the back country. Uh, this really might be the floor plan for you. That's it, folks. That's the 2024 Jayco J Flight 212 QBW. W stands for West. Let me know what you guys think of this floor plan. I really like it. Some people absolutely can't stand it. So I want to know what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a like. If you like me, subscribe. And if you want to buy one of these, let me know. My email's in the description. Send me an email, and we'll get you in one of these. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.